Welcome to Dave Talks Comics. I'm Dave. This is my podcast where I talk about comic books, cartoons, and comic book conventions. And this is episode 164. And I'm going to be talking, I'm going to be previewing the panels for Heroes Con, the 2019 edition of Heroes Con, which starts tomorrow, Friday, June 14, 2019. All past episodes can be streamed or downloaded from the program's website, davetalkscomics.com. In addition to the program's website, this podcast can also be found on iTunes, Stitcher, and Facebook. You can find my notes on what I've read at davetalkscomics.net. Now, usually I put in a disclaimer here about spoilers, but there really won't be any spoilers because this time around because I'm going to be talking about the panels that have been announced for Heroes Con 2019. It's Tuesday before Heroes Con. Heroes Con begins on Friday, and they finally released the programming schedule for this week's show. So I'm going to go through, I think I don't have enough time to go through the whole thing right now, but I'm going to go through the Friday panels, and I'll try and come back maybe this evening or tomorrow, and go through uh, Saturday and Sunday's panels. So the show opens at 2 o'clock. No, I'm sorry, the panels begin at 2 o'clock. I don't think I'm going to be there by then. The first panel does sound like one I'd enjoy, which is Marvel in the 80s, and this is hosted by Mark Evanier with uh, Al Milgram, Bob Hall, Rick Leonardi, Jam de Mateus and Pat Broderick, and I probably would go to this one if I was there. At best, I think I'll be just getting to to Charlotte at 2 o'clock, so maybe I can catch the tail end of this panel. I don't think I'm going to catch the whole thing, though. Let's see, 2.30, they have the, uh, the quick draw panel, one of the quick draw panels. There's a number of them. I've never gone to these things. These feel more like a very audience participation sort of event. Maybe I should try one of them one of these days, but I'm not, I, I struggle with stick figures. <laughs> so, let's see, next we have a panel called Callouts, Critiques and Cancellations, Fandom and Cancel Culture. This feels more like a pop culture panel than specifically a comic book panel. It doesn't speak to me particularly, so I will probably pass on it. That one's at 2.30. Then at 3 o'clock we have SCAD Workshop 1, Big Fun with Mini Comics. Well, once again, I am not a cartoonist, so I'm probably not going to go to this panel. Also at 3 o'clock, now this one interests me, Cartoonist Kayfabe Live with Ed Piscor and Jim Rugg. They are going to be doing more than one Kayfabe panel, Cartoonist Kayfabe panel. This is the first one. It sounds interesting, but at the same time, the fact that they put it live there makes me think that they're going to be recording this panel, so maybe this one will be available online. Also, I'm not sure exactly what time I'll be getting to Charlotte, so I'm not sure if I will be there in time for it. But let's see, also at 3 o'clock, there's a Batman panel. Batman's still a grouch, but looking good doing it. This is moderated by Joe Roch. Rock? Rauch, R-A-U-C-H. I know I've gone to some panels that he has hosted before and pre- at previous Heroes Con. They're going to have Joe Giella, Kelly Jones, Lee Weeks, and Tim Sale on the panel. I usually don't go to these big character panels, you know, or, or big DC or Marvel panels. Not always. Batman isn't one that necessarily speaks to me, so... Um, and if at 3 o'clock, I think the panel that I'm really more interested in is the cartoonist K. Fabe. Also, let's see, oh no, skipping ahead, 3.30 now. The Ride, 15 Years of Intense Pulp Storytelling. So this is a panel devoted to a comic book series which I've never read called The Ride. The pulp storytelling aspect of it interests me, but the fact that I've never read the comic and the fact that it, it's interferes with another panel that I'm interested in means I'm probably not going to go to this one. See, at 3.30, DC in the 90s. Now, this one does interest me. This one, similar to the Marvel in the 80s, is also hosted by Mark Evanier. 
And this one is, let's say there's Tom Grummet, Richard Case, Joe Staten, and Daryl Banks. I don't know all those creators, and I'm not terribly familiar with DC in the 90s, but I do like these look-back kind of uh, panels. And I, I do know Mark Evanier, and I, I do... I have enjoyed some of the panels. I think at Baltimore last year, or maybe it was the year before, I went to a couple panels that he was on. At 4 o'clock, they're going to have an hour with Scotty Young. Scotty Young covers a lot of ground with moderator Heather Pegler. This, if I was interested in Scotty Young's work, this sounds like a great show. I don't know if I've actually ever read anything that Scotty Young's ever done. So, once again, if I was... um, Searching for something to go to, I might go to this one, but I probably won't because there's a few other things that I'm interested in. Four o'clock, caring for your creative team. A team that functions as a pure thing, but it's not elusive. Alan Tupper, Carrie Tupper, and Jamel Jones is here to to dispel the mysteries of building and caring for your creative team. Okay, this feels... I'm not sure if, I'm, if, if this interests me that much. Uh, let's see, 4.30, Advice for Writers. Mark Evanier sits down with Matt Fraction and Cullen Bunn. Now, this one does sound interesting, but it is up against, uh, also at 4.30, Camp Parker for animation. Bob Camp and Rick Parker dish the dirt. Uh, I saw Bob Camp at a panel, I think it was three years ago at Heroes Con, maybe even four which I really enjoyed. He did a lot of work on Ren and Stimpy and SpongeBob SquarePants, and it, it was a lot of fun. I think that's up on the on on the website too. I think I'm pretty sure I taped that one. At five o'clock, there is SCAD Workshop. Uh, SCAD Workshop two dynamic figure drawing. Okay, once again, this is something more for people who are artists and. Uh, so I will probably skip that. I think there's also a limited amount of space for these sorts of things. So I don't want to squeeze somebody else out. And I'm not sure what I would get from it. I certainly wouldn't get probably as much as most artists would. Okay, now at 5 o'clock there's one I'm definitely interested in. And this is Before Superman, Nikki Wheeler-Nicholson and Andrew P. Poy and Jim Amash are going to be talking about the early days of comic books what does this say? Discuss the first comics pre-Superman featuring early Siegel and Schuster and some of the sassy smart heroines pre-Wonder Woman. I think I heard Nikki Wheeler Nicholson. I think she's the granddaughter of Malcolm Wheeler Nicholson. Possibly the... Yeah, I think she's, she's got to be the granddaughter who was one of the founders of what eventually became DC Comics. And she's written a book called DC Comics Before Superman. So I guess this probably focuses, of this panel, is probably on that book, or on some of the things that she she came across when she was writing the book. So that definitely sounds interesting to me, because I'm, I'm always interested in those historical-type panels. Five o'clock, Bitter Root follows this. Okay, now Bitter Root is a comic book. Let's see, Chuck Brown and Sanford Green are the two people on the panel and I believe I heard Sanford Green on Word Balloon talking about this. Let's see. And of course, once again, that's up against that Before Superman panel. Wow, there's a lot of panels on Friday. Let's see, also at 5 o'clock, J-L-A-E-I-O-U and sometimes Y. This will be Chris Brenneman, J.M. DeMatteis, Keith Giffen, Kevin McGuire, and Bart Sears. I think this is the post-crisis on Infinite Earths. Um, Justice League comic books that they'll be talking about, which I've read a little bit of, only a very little bit of. And honestly, I think I'm more interested in the Before Superman panel. Let's see. All, and then at 5.30, we have a few panels. Auteurs in the mainstream, Matt Kent, Colleen Duran, and Daniel Warren Johnson do it all. And this is hosted by Adam Doughty of the Dollar Bin, which... Uh, kind of uh, pod faded, but still, I enjoyed the program while it was on, and I'm sure it's going to be a great conversation, but it's going up against that before Superman panel. Mm, Not sure what to do on that. Let's see, 5.30, Bats and Soups in the Courtroom over the years, Batman and Superman. 
have appeared in many courtrooms as witnesses' defense, and we'll explore what Bats and Superman can teach us about the law. Jim Dedman is going to be the presenter, I guess, and he's an attorney. Hmm, that sounds interesting, but once again, I'm not sure if it's interesting enough to pull me away from one of the other panels. 5.30 is also a cosplay Q&A panel. Not really my thing, so I think I'll pass. At 6 o'clock, there's an anthropomorphic panel. Mark Evanier talks with Don Rosa, Stan Sakai, and David Peterson, all of whom wrote uh, wrote and drew comic books about um, about anthropomorphic characters. Once again, sounds interesting. Well, actually, no, that's at 6. Maybe I could go to that. Yeah, maybe I will. We'll see. Uh, at 7, the show closes, and at 7.30 is the drink and draw. So that's it for the Friday panels. Saturday. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Saturday. The Saturday panel started at 11. It looks like there are four panels at 11. There's the All Ages panel. All Ages panel turns 37, old enough to know better. And this has Joey Weiser, Naomi Frankies, Ted Neife, Andy Runton, June Brigman, and it's moderated by Aaron Cashton. I don't think I'm going to go see that one because there's at least one other that I think I'm more interested in. The next one is Comics Can Help You Be a Better Ally. Now, this is about diversity issues, but they don't actually list any of the people who are going to be on this panel. So that's a little strange. Part of being an ally is learning about the lives and perspectives of people who don't look like you, from discussing lexicon to sharing experiences. There are comics to help educate and inform. Join the host of Diversity, oh, Diversity Issues podcast as they talk about comics that can help on the journey of being an ally. Okay, so that they don't name them, but they do say who's going to be hosting it. Now, the third one is the one I think, well, both the third and the fourth I'm interested in. The third one is the Black Thumb Society, Mood, and Sh- Mood Shadows, Embellishment. How do they do it? We're going to find out how Mark Evanier talks to some of the best. Klaus Jansen, John Beatty, and Mike Roy are all names that I'm familiar with. I've seen Klaus Jansen on a panel before. I talked to John Beatty at Heroes Con a few years ago. And Mike Royer, of course, I think I know best from his work with, I believe it was with Jack Kirby. So that's probably the one that I'm most interested in, but I'm not certain. It's the other one also at 11 sounds interesting, and that's Cartoonist Kayfabe Origins. And moderator Chris Brenneman talks to the wildly talented creative folk behind Cartoonist Kayfabe podcast, Jim Rugg and Ed Piscor. So that sounds interesting. And they're doing a number, I think they've got like three or four panels over the course of the weekend, Rug and Piscor do. So let's see, now at noon, there's one, two, two panels at noon. There is SCAD Workshop 3, an introduction to storyboards with Ray Gatto, or is it Goto, or is it Go 2? I'm not sure. And as with all the other SCAD workshops, I don't see myself attending any of these. And then the other one is Queerly Femtastic, Celebrating Queer Female Representation in Comics. And this is, let's see, who's on the panel? Tamara Bonvillain, Naomi Frankiz, or Quiz, and Emmett Helen, and others to be announced to discuss the importance of queer female representation in comics. Hmm. But then there's also some panels at 1230. So at 12.30, we've got, let's see, one, two, three, four panels at 12.30. There is, wait a minute, there it is. The first one is the Owly Hoot Nanny. This is moderated by Heather Pegler and has Jenny Law and Andy Runton are on the panel. And I believe Andy Runton is the creator of Owly, a comic book I have never read. 
and also 1230 you have the color commentary part the first panel this one's hosted by Greg Matiasevich who I believe I sold my ticket to in 2013 when I couldn't go to Heroes Con and on the panel with him will be Nick Filardi, Laura Martin, and Rico Renzi. Uh, and I think I've seen, I've certainly seen Laura Martin on color panels before. I'm not sure about Rico Renzi or Nick Filardi. In fact, I think Rico Renzi was the one who helped me get that ticket to Greg that year. Now, the next panel, I think, is the one that I'm really thinking about. And this is Sketch off with Garcia Lopez, Weeks, and Pelletier. So Jose Luis Garcia Lopez, Lee Weeks, and Paul Pelletier talk about their craft, answer questions, and draw up some fine artwork on the spot while you watch. Now that's going up against another panel that really sounds good, but I'm just I I've never been to a sketch well, that's not entirely true. I went to a sketch off panel at at Super Show back in I don't think it was the first year I went. I think it was probably twenty twelve or Wait, 2011 or 2013? They didn't have one in 2012. So the next panel is called The Marvel Age. And on the panel are going to be Mike Cobry, Cobra, Cobry, Mark Evanier, Steve Saffel, and Craig Yo. And I've seen all of those panelists before. I'm not sure about Mike Cobra. But they're going to be talking about Marvel Comics in the 1960s, Stan Lee, Jack Kirby, Steve Ditko, who deserves the credit, and that kind of stuff. So at the moment, I think I'm leaning towards the sketch off there. Let's see, 130, we've got one, two, three, four panels. The first one is another SCAD workshop. The fourth one, experimental storytelling techniques. Brian Ralph talks about the storytelling techniques that use the comics medium in new ways and how he used them for his Eisner-nominated book, Cave In. Hmm. Interesting. But here's what he's going up against. Organized Chaos. Adam Doughty of the Dollar Bin with Nathan Fox, Brian Hurt, and Alexis Zirit. Uh Let's see, they talk about how they turn crazy action-filled scripts, pages, into beautiful, comprehensive visual storytelling. I'm sure that'll be a great panel. Uh, Alexis Zirit, I think, is the one who did that panel at SPX I went to a couple years ago where... It was actually a workshop, and I ended up having to draw stuff, But uh, which was fun. He was very nice. He was very, very nice to me, considering how bad my drawings were. Let's see. Then we have Craven's last panel. Jason Wheatley sits down with the entire creative team responsible for one of the all-time great Spider-Man storylines, J.M. DeMatteis, Mike Zeck, Bob McCloud, and Rick Parker. I've read this book before. I wasn't crazy about it, but I think I'm thinking about giving it another try after I read the the section of Captain America that that Vermin shows up in, because Vermin also shows up in Craven's Last Hunt. And I also found out recently that there is also a sequel to Craven's Last Hunt, or a follow up to it, uh, which Vermin also shows up in, which was also written by J.M. DeMatteis. I don't think that that um, Mike Zeck drew it, though, but I'm not certain on that. And then the next panel, which, I don't know, this is the one I think I'm leaning towards in this 130 block, is cartoonist Kayfabe Spotlight Bill Sienkiewicz. YouTube's cartoonist Kayfabe welcomes Bill Sienkiewicz, Ed Piscor, and Jim Rugg to talk to the legendary and influential creator creator about Electra Assassin, haven't read it, Big Numbers, haven't read it, New Mutants, haven't read it, Frank Miller, Alan Moore, New York City in the 1980s, multimedia, commercial art, <laughs> indie comics, and much more. I think I've heard Sienkiewicz on one program. He was on, he was on Word Balloon, I think last year. I think leading up to the, what's that? show that John Suntress goes to up in Connecticut, the Mohegan Sun. I'm drawing a blank on the name of the show. Maybe it'll come back to me. But I would kind of like to see him interviewed, but I think he is on another panel also. Okay, so then at 2 o'clock, we have, let's see, one, two panels. There's the quick draw 
panel, and I think I mentioned there was a quick draw panel on Friday, and so I don't think I'm going to go to that. The And the other panel at two is the art of cover composition. Mark Evanier now, uh, moderates, and the other people on the panel are Colleen Duran, Jenny Frizen, Tula Lote, and Vanessa Del Rey. Mm, okay, sounds interesting. But then it's three. Oh, those are the only ones at two. Oh, but I'm probably going to something at one thirty, so I probably won't be able to make that. Okay, let's see. At three, we have one, two, three, four, five, five panels at three. At three, there is the Goon Anniversary panel. I think I have one issue of the Goon. I don't see myself going to this panel. There's a My Little Pony panel. <laughs> I don't see myself going to this either. Katie Cook, Andy Price, and Jeremy Whitley. Uh, let's see. Then there's another workshop, another SCAD. Is this a SCAD workshop? No, it says Teaching Comics Series. Mike Phoenix, Dan Yesbeck, and Sean Doughty, also of the Dollar Bin. Uh, discuss a multidisciplinary approach to comic studies. Interesting. Hmm. Sounds interesting. And then also at 3 o'clock, we have Beyond Work for Hire, funding creator-owned comics through Kickstarter, Patreon, and more. I, let's see. Carl Kiesel, Monica Gallagher, Daryl Banks, Rich Tommaso, and Ron Randall talk about this stuff with Terrence Dollard. I, I don't think I'm going to go to that one. There's just too many others that interest me. Let's see, also at 3 o'clock, then the last one at 3 o'clock. Now, this is the mega panel. Return to Riverdale, eight decades with Archie's pals and gals. I usually like to go to the mega panel, but I really don't have any strong affinity for Archie, even though I have an Archie commission that... Who was it? Andy... Oh... I hate it when I forget people's last names. That somebody did for me at SPX a number of years ago. It's a Archie and and Deathlock mashup that I like very much. But I don't really have any strong affinity. So and there's other panels that interest me. So that's at three. That's the last of the panels at three. And those usually those mega panels usually go for at least an hour and a half. Sometimes it's more like two hours. See, there's two panels at 3.30. Both of them sound good. There's the Mark, Sergio, and Stan show, and this is Mark Evanier, Sergio Aragonis, and Stan Sakai. Mark Evanier is doing a lot of panels this year at, at, at Heroes Con. I, don't, is this his, I know he's a West Coast guy, and he was, at, he was at Baltimore, I think, two years ago, but I don't, I don't know if this is the first time he's been at Heroes that I can recall. So Mark Evanier, Sergio Aragones, and Stan Sakai. And it's probably just a discussion amongst the three of them. Let's see. Then we also have Celebrating the Legion of Superheroes with Keith Giffen, Joe Staten, Greg LaRoque. Talk to Legion of Superheroes fanatic Nancy Northcott. Don't know who she is. Certainly recognize the other three names. I've certainly read some of the... Legion done by Keith Giffen. I don't know if I've read any by Joe Staten and Greg LaRoque. But it does interest me. Hmm. And then at 4 o'clock, let's see, there's only one panel that starts right at 4, and that's cosplay. Is it worth it? Well, I'm not big on cosplay, so I think I'm probably going to pass that one. Let's see, at 4.30 we've got two more panels. There's the art the art and storytelling of Archer. Artists Kevin Mellon and Neil Holman come together with Sean Doughty of Dollar Bin Productions to talk about... Yeah, well, I'm not a big Archer fan either. I don't know if I've ever really watched it. I, I want to say that I tried it way back when, but I, I think I did try it, but I've never really given it an extended try. I probably watched an episode or something like that. And then also at 4.30 of Color Commentary, Part the Second. So another color panel, also hosted by Greg Matiasevich, this time with Marissa Louise, Tamara Bonvillain, Nolan Woodard, and Matt Wilson. Now at 
five, there is All Hail Jack Kirby. Now, this is one I think I really want to go to. Uh, come celebrate the King with Mark Evanier, Mike Royer, John Morrow, Jim Amash, and Rand Hoppy and Tom Kraft from the Kirby Museum. That sounds like fun. And I don't know if I've... I'm trying to think if... Well, yes, I did go to that Kirby at 100 panel at Baltimore a few years, uh, two years ago, I think it was. Yeah, I definitely went to that. Okay, and then the convention closes at 6, and they have the art auction starting at 7.30 in the Western Grand Ballroom, which I went to, I think, either my first or my second year at Heroes Con, and I have not gone to since. Okay, so Sunday... See, Sunday, there are one, two, three, four, five, six panels starting at noon. Wow. Okay, there's the Super Monsters panel, hosted by Joe Rock, who talks with Kelly Jones, Yannick Paquette, Steve Mannion, and Francesco Francavilla. And then there's the Celebration of Wonder Woman panel, with Nikki Wheeler Nicholson, Colleen Duran, and Christy Marston at the granddaughter of William Moulton Marston. That definitely interests me. Also at noon you have Meet Betty Betty Brown PhD. Is that supposed to be a G? Hmm, I'm not sure. I would think it would be a D, but maybe this is that's just some of the quirks of it. Tom Heinches, who I have have seen on panels before, uh, recently discovered Betty Brown, pharmacist and comics first degreed female. And you can learn about her amazing career and her place in comics history. Well, that, so you've got two panels looking back at things, historical panels going up against each other with the Wonder Woman and the Betty Brown panel. See, at noon, we have an hour or so with Neil Adams. Jason Wheatley sits down with Neil Adams. I think I'm going to pass on that. I'm not a huge fan of Neil Adams the person. Let's see, in Frazetta's shadow, Mark Evanier sits down with Tom Grinberg and Carrie Noor, two artists known for their incredible interpretation of Burroughs and Howard characters. And, of course, that would be Edgar Rice Burroughs and Robert E. Howard to discuss their influences and techniques and the timelessness of Frank Frazetta. Well, that certainly sounds interesting, but with all the other things it's going up again, I, I just don't know. Oh, my goodness. How did I not see this before? And then also at noon, cartoonist kayfabe, action auteurs Ed Piscor, Jim Rugg, Michelle Fife, and Charles Forsman. Wow. I hope they record this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make that one. I hope they record that one. Okay, let's see. At 12.30, there's another SCAD workshop. This is the fifth one. Storytelling through environments, character, and prop design. Sounds interesting. I'm actually reading these descriptions of the SCAD workshops. Quite often, I don't. Let's see. Now, at one thirty. So there's nothing starting at 1, but at 1.30 there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 panels. Holy moly. First one is Romancing the Superheroes. Comic writers Gail Martin, Gail Z. Martin, Alexandra Chastain, and your faithful moderator Nancy Northcott dish on superhero romances in comics and on screen. Hmm. Uh, I don't think I'm familiar with any of those names. No, I don't think so. Okay, let's see. Next one is uh, Sunday's Quick Draw Competition. And then next we have Diverse Comics for Kids. The child's self-esteem is highly influenced by whether or not they see themselves reflected in the stories that they see and hear. Oh. Well, here's another one. No... (laughs) <laughs> there's nothing to tell you who is going to be there running the panel, who's going to be on the panel. It just 
Children that are exposed to diverse stories develop a greater sense of empathy for the world that they inhabit. We'll talk about selecting comics for young readers and give our recommendations of some. But once again, no mention of who's going to be on the panel. Let's see. Also at 1.30, an hour, an hour with Charles Vess and Bill Sienkiewicz. One is known for fairy fantasies, the other for psychedelic, psychedelic phantasmagoria. What happens when legendary artists Charles Vess and Bill Sienkiewicz share a stage together? Uh, and it's moderated by Greg Matiasevich. Interesting. Hmm. Well, so that must be the other Bill Sienkiewicz panel that I was thinking of. At one thirty, there's also a Superman panel. This one is moderated by Mark Evanier and... Let's see, Tom Grummet, Steve Epting, Jerry Ordway, and Matt Fraction will be all be on the panel. I think that's the only panel that I've seen Jerry Ordway's name mentioned. Oh, boy. See, I'm near the end here. Okay, at, also at 1.30. I think I said there was something like seven panels at 1.30. Latour Live Draw. Honorary hero, hero Jason Latour continues his yearly tradition of conversing and drawing with talented artists and friends. Additional guests to be decided. So it's going to be more than Jason Latour, I guess. And then the last panel at 1.30 is an hour with Stan Sakai. One of our favorite cartoonists, Stan Sakai, sits down with another of our favorites, oh, Krogan's own Chris Schweitzer, to talk about cartooning, swordplay, and lettering. So many choices. And that's the only panel I've seen Chris Schweitzer's name mentioned on. I usually stop by his table to chat a little bit, and I I definitely want to do it. And there's only two other panels, it looks like. Donald Alt in memoriam. Donald Alt, a writer and teacher who helped to establish comic studies as an academic discipline, passed away in April. Craig Fisher and Aaron Cashtan lead this panel that commemorates his life, his work, and examines its effects on comic studies and comic fandom. Hmm. And then at 3 o'clock, there is the superhero movie spoiler alert, alert. After the grand guignol that was Avengers Endgame, we think it's time to sit down and discuss the superhero films that have overtaken popular culture. What were the best? What were the worst? What, what individual movies stand on their own? Please join us for a wild discussion where we will solve nothing and get absolutely nowhere but have fun on the way. Hosted by... Jerry S. Thomas. And that's it. And the show ends at 6 o'clock on Sunday. And next year's show is on June 19th to the 21st. The 2020 show. So I've got a lot of decisions to make. It's definitely not going to be easy. I'm definitely not going to see... I'm, I am definitely going to not see some things that I would like to see. Hopefully I enjoy all the panels that I make it to. I don't know. A lot of decisions, but it's always like this. They always put these things up against one another. It's a shame that they've got... that they can't have more panels, that they put stacked so many of those 130 panels together and they couldn't put some of them at at like 2.30 or a little later in the day. That's a shame. And I'm actually staying for the whole show this year, so... Or that's my plan. I'm, st- I'm I'm spending the night, Sunday night, and I'm driving back on Monday. So, so that's it for my look at the Heroes Con programming schedule. Of course, it's possible some of these things will change. Who knows? I, I doubt anything will get added, but it's possible something will get dropped or somebody won't appear on a panel. But I'm going to try and get this out before I leave on Friday for Heroes Con. Two updates or corrections before I wrap up this episode. First, the artist who did an Archie Deathlock mashup for me was Andy Jewett. And that was at at Super Show back... I think that may have even been the first Super Show back in 2010. The first one that I went to. And the other correction or update was the... The convention that John Suntris goes to, John Suntris of Word Balloon Podcast goes to, and that he interviewed Bill Sienkiewicz for, 
was Terrificon, which is in Connecticut. And I believe that's coming up in August. Anyhow, that's it for episode 164 of Dave Talks Comics. Next episode, I will be talking about what I actually saw on the first day of Heroes Con. But for now, Dave Talks Comics can be found at davetalkscomics.com as well as on iTunes, Stitcher, and SoundCloud. You can keep up with what I have currently been reading at davetalkscomics.net and what I've been watching at smallscreenscrawls.blogspot.com. I usually update those blogs on a daily or weekly basis. Links to small screen scrolls can be found at davetalkscomics.com or davetalkscomics.net under the other blogs header on the right hand side of the page. davetalkscomics.com for the cast, .net for the notes. If you have comments or questions, I can be reached at davetalkscomics at gmail.com, on Twitter at davetalkscomics, or leave a comment on my website. I'm Dave. Thank you for listening.